Hey guys, welcome to Federation Nation. I am Anthony. This is Collectors Entertainment Network. And on this episode, we're going to take a look at a WWF program. It's Volume 160 with Jake the Snake Roberts on the cover. But before we get into that, guys, I'd like to ask you, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I'd love to have you back. Please comment down below. And let me know your memories with these old vintage WWF programs. Guys, please share this video with anyone you think may like it as well. Really helps to get the word out. And guys, also just give this video a like because that helps a lot too. All right, we're going to get into this. It's volume 160, WWF program, Jake the Snake. It's from 1988, I believe. But without any further ado, let's get into the pages. Alright guys, here we go. We got World Wrestling Federation Program. WWF, What the World is Watching, Volume 160, and it says Jake the Snake Roberts, Master of Damien and the DDT. Let's get inside. Of course, I love this right here, the Superstars page. I've always loved that in the programs, and look, of course... Macho Man was the champ at this time, so he is in the middle. When's it say I got this? I got September 30th, 1988. I don't have a card in here, you know, like the little match sheet card. So I don't know if I got this at an event and I just don't have the card. If I went to an event, I did go to an event maybe sometime in 88, I think. And it was at like a high school, so maybe they didn't even have a card and maybe I got this. But I didn't I didn't write where I got it from. So I'm not sure if I got this from an event or if I just got this um, a back issue or I got it from a friend who went to an event. I'm not sure. But there is uh there's the superstars page, and yeah, I got it September 30th, 1988. Let's keep on going. All right, ring scene, the WWF report. Looks like we're uh, talking about SummerSlam probably because you got the Mega Powers and the Mega Bucks with Jesse in the middle. Uh, September 30th is when I got it, but I'm not sure exactly when this came out. Um, I don't know if it's talking about what happened at uh, SummerSlam or what's going to happen. So I'm not sure when this one came out. Looks like there's a... Uh, Oh, look, Harley Race and Haku, didn't they uh, fight? I don't remember where. It wasn't at SummerSlam 88, but I think they did fight at some point when Harley Race came back from his injury. All right, we've got a, a calendar there. All right, Jake the Snake Roberts coiled for Rude. Obviously, Rick Rude is who they are talking about. Oh, look at this. Three big new WWF videos. You've got Hulkamania 3, Around the World, and the Women of the WWF. And just for a little bonus, guys, I actually have uh, one of those videos. I have Hulkamania 3, but it is in very rough shape, but you can take a look. It's very beat up. Hulkamania 3, uh, Coliseum Video, wasn't a, um, wasn't a clamshell. It was one of these uh, card, uh, you know, cardboard covers. There you go, there's the side, and then there's the back for anyone who wants to see it. Just figured I would, uh, it was right here on the shelf, so I figured I'd give that as a little bonus. All right, let's keep on going. All right, we got Big Boss Man puts them in irons. Uh, he's, still, he's still a heel at this time, pretty sure. All right, you got a little envelope for uh, if you want to. You know, send away for anything in the catalog. Speaking of the catalog, here it is. You've got Macho Madness, the Macho Man page, Hulkamania for all the Hulk Hogan stuff. Look at all this good stuff. And here you go. There's the Hulkamania hat. If we want to do a little bonus, I got this Hulkamania hat right here. Also in 1988, in January of 1988. At the Nassau Coliseum is where we got that. All right, keep on going. We've got the kids collection. You got a Matilda stuffed animal. And, of course, you've got mine stuffed animal. I swear, they just had George Steele come to the ring with a stuffed animal just so they could sell it. What other reason would he have to, uh, to do that? Oh, look, little Hulkster bib. Oh, come on. Wish I had that when uh, my kids were little. All right, we got WWF tees. Look at all those awesome T-shirts. I always loved this page. It was usually the same, but every you know every like merchandise catalog, a couple would change. But this Macho Man, that's been there since he since like he was a heel in '86 or '87. Um, 
So we got Strike Force. Look at this. Well, let's go through it. Brutus the Barber Beefcake, The Rock, Don Morocco, The British Bulldogs, Bam Bam Bigelow, Macho Man, Honky Tonk Man, George Animal Steel, Coco Beware, The Young Stallions got their own shirt, uh, Strike Force, The Warrior, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, King Kong Bundy, and Jake the Snake Roberts. I did not have any of these shirts. I only had some. The only shirts I ever had were some Hulk Hogan shirts, or, or a Hulk Hogan shirt. I got some other shirts later on, like the Jake the Snake, not this one, but the green one, the more classic one. I got that when they released the um, Jake the Snake DVD, um, and then if you bought it from like WWE Shop, they sent you, uh, if you ordered it there, they sent you a free Jake the Snake shirt, but it was the classic shirt. Um, not that 88, it's not classic, but it was the older one, the green one. All right, the WWF collection. There's Andre's shirt and then a bunch of other cool stuff. Pins, postcards, um, other t-shirts, frisbees. You know, uh, Leap and Lanny Pop was frisbees. All right, here's some posters. I did have some of these posters. I had this Macho Man poster. I had this Warrior poster. Um, I think that's it. My friend had this Brutus poster because Brutus was his favorite. Um, and that's it. But it's funny because the Georgie Animal Steel one and this Hulk Hogan one, these are like old posters and they were still selling them in 1988. That's pretty funny. But especially the Hogan one. That that one's a really old one. That that came out like, I want to say like 85, maybe 86. I'm not sure. But they were, uh, it, it had been a while and that's still in here. But yeah, I, def I was a Macho Man guy, so I obviously had this one. And I also had the one... Like the poster that was previous when he was still a bad guy when he's on the beach and Elizabeth's on the beach. I had that poster too. Um, but that's obviously not in here because that one's gone. Look at these watches. I wish I had one of those watches. I wonder if I did because, I mean, you know, kids have watches all the time. I know I had watches that just came and went. So who knows? I could have had one. I don't know. And, of course, look, free Hulk Hogan light switch plate. Still have it. I probably ordered something and got the free uh, switch plate because I still have it. I put it in my room when I was a kid, and now it's uh, the light switch for my son's room. So it's pretty cool. When we moved into this house, I, I, I asked my wife, I was like, could we put this on, you know, for Stevie's room? And she was like, yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. <laughs> anyway, the Rock Down Morocco carries on. Brother Love has appropriate resources. Is that when he had uh, Ted DiBiase as his benefactor? Like British Knights sneaker ad. Do they even make British Knights anymore? British Knights sneakers? I don't know. All right. The Bolsheviks facing the powers of pain. Yeah, the powers of pain was still um, faces. And then it was this upcoming Survivor Series where them and Demolition did the double turn. Uh, you've got the Rockers shaking things up. Oh, and my favorite. The WWF Superstars of Wrestling present Ice Cream Mania. Taste the bars of the superstars. Hey, WWF fans, grab the champion of ice cream bars. These things were the champion of ice cream bars. I love those things. And you used to get like a free card. Pretty cool. I got to find where my cards are. I mean, I might not have them, but knowing me, I might have them. They might be just in a box somewhere. So hopefully I could find them. All right, keep an eye on. This was always what ended the programs. You've got the Ultimate Warrior, Bam Bam Bigelow, the Outlaw Ron Bass, and Dino Bravo. And let's see who's on the back. There's always someone on the back. Up, oh, it's the Big Boss Man patrolling the ring. There you go, guys. That is Volume 160 of the WWF program with Jake the Snake Roberts on the cover. All right, guys, that was WWF Program Volume 160 with Jake the Snake Roberts on the cover. Again, guys, I'm going to ask you, please subscribe, please comment, please like, and please share. All those things help the channel, and it is greatly appreciated. All right, I do have a few more programs that I'm going to go over. I don't know if I'm going to get them into the next weeks. Uh, maybe I'll run them sporadically. I don't know when we'll see them, but I know we'll see some because I do have a few programs that I want to show you guys. But again, this is Volume 160, Jake the St. Roberts on the cover. So until next time, guys, have a good one.